the lord hallelujah hallelujah somebody hallelujah this is devotion time this is holy ghost school devotion time brethren it is a good thing that we are alive this morning is not by might, is not by power but by my spirit says the lord of hosts many people went to bed last night they didn't wake up but this morning we are still alive we are alive it is a good thing that we give glory to god you want to start with uh, Psalm 103, verse 1 to 2. Uh, my name is Chizoba, Holy Ghost School, period, and devotion time. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. You want to look at uh, Psalm 21, verse 11. It is time for prayer this morning. Psalm 21, verse 11, it says, For they intended evil against you. They devised a plot which they are not able to perform. Brethren, who are the people who devised a plot which they are not able to perform? Who stopped them from performing the, their evil? And the, the, the place we read before, it said, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. We have so many reasons. If you look at Psalm 103, if you can look at it, if you can read, if you can take your time and read everything, study that place, you see that you have so many reasons for us to give thanks to the Lord, for you to glorify the name of the Lord. So this morning, I want you to be in the mood of prayer. I want you to pray. Are you driving? Are you at home? Are you in the office? It is time for us to come together as children of God to pray. I want you to open your mouth wherever you are. Thank God for being alive, for the gift of life. Thank God that you are still in the land of the living. Thank God for the grace to be alive this morning. Thank God for your family members. Thank God for all. If you can count your blessings, if you can count your blessings, you, can, you can't count your blessings. You, there are so many. You can't count them. Be that one leper that the Lord healed. You know, 10 lepers, they came to him and said, Lord, have mercy. And he healed them. You know, he cleansed them. And they were fine. They were healed. But only one returned back to the master and recognized and appreciated what he has done for him. So I want you to open your mouth. Begin to give thanks to the Lord. Begin to thank him for the bread of life. Thank him for his worthy to be praised. Thank him, bless his holy name. Oh, honor the name of the Most High. Honor him, appreciate him, worship him, glorify him for his worthy. He is worthy to be praised. Father, we bless your holy name. Lord, we thank you because you are worthy. You are good, you are kind, you are marvelous. I thank you, King of Glory, for your children. For our lives, for our families, for our children, for our husbands, for our, for our friends, our family members, our loved ones, our friends, our co-workers. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the church of God. We thank you, Ashen of this, for all you have done, for all you are doing, for the greater ones you are going to do, O King of Glory. Blessed be your holy name. We worship you. We love you. We appreciate you so much. In rock of ages be thou exalted thank you father thank you El Shaddai. thank you king of all kings and the lord of hosts brethren i want you to begin to soak yourself in the precious blood of jesus begin to hide yourself in that blood having the boldness to enter into the holy of holies by the blood of jesus i want you to begin to soak your office begin to hide your home begin to soak everything in the precious blood of, of jesus everything you have begin to soak them in the blood. It is the blood that washes us from every unrighteousness. In the name of Jesus, I want us to look into Joshua chapter 5. Joshua chapter 5, 20. Jo Joshua chapter 5, verse 2 to 3. He says, At that time, the Lord said to Joshua, Make flint nice for yourself and circumcise the sons of Israel again the second time. So Joshua made flint nice for himself and circumcised the sons of Israel at the heel of the four skins. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
I want us to go to First Kings chapter 18, verse 30. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come near to me. So all the people came near to him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. Praise the Lord. Uh, the, the, the Bible is talking about a, an altar. And our first altar is the altar of our hearts, brethren. That is the altar of the Lord, where you carry the Lord wherever you go. And this morning we want to circumcise our hearts. We want to, we want to circumcise, you know, Joshua, Joshua circumcised the first kings of the people, but now it is the heart. This is where the Lord dwells. So I don't know what has occupied your heart. I don't know if you have any unforgiveness in, in you. The Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. I want you to go into repentance. If we say we don't have sin, the truth is not in us, brethren. But when we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from every unrighteousness. So I want you to open your mouth any way you are. Because our righteousness is nothing but a feel to rag before him. Begin to ask God for mercy. Begin to confess your sins before him. Ask for mercy. Let him forgive our sins. Let him forgive you. Let him forgive everyone that is hearing my voice before we go. Oh, before him to ask anything. I want you to open your mouth, please. Ask the Lord for mercy. Is there any way? Yeah. I do not want the accuser of brethren to accuse you for anything. Circumcise your heart this morning with the precious blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is available for everyone. Just soak yourself. Cleanse yourself. Release the blood. Call upon the blood to wash you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O Lord, King of glory, Abba, Father, we ask for your mercy this morning. Eternal rock of ages, everything, O King of glory, Jehovah, in any shape or form we have seen and fallen short of your glory. Is in disobedience, O God, in stubbornness, rebelliousness, O Lord, pride and unforgiveness, anger. Father, please, known and unknown since every lie, every lie we have told, every thought that, that is going on in our heart that is not of you. Father, please, we ask for your mercy. The secret sins, oh Lord, we ask, oh God, because everything is naked before you, oh Lord, we ask for your mercy. Let your mercy overrule judgment in our lives. Let your mercy, oh King of glory, Jehovah, wash and cleanse us with our blood. Have mercy upon us. Remember mercy. Let your mercy, oh God, triumph and prevail over judgment in our lives. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we release the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We give you praise. We glorify your holy name, O King of glory. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit divine, have your way. Take your place for on our own. We can do nothing. We invite you for you alone. Help our infirmities. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought to. But we make it intercession with groanings which cannot be uttered. For he that searches the heart knows the mind of the Spirit. Spirit of the living God, come and pray in us and with us and for us upon us. Help us this morning in the name of Jesus. Guide us. Lead us. Pray in us and through us in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord God Almighty, we give you praise. Blessed be your holy name, O King of glory, in the name of Jesus. Our brethren, I want you to pray. I want you to begin to pray. Because the Bible says that uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in highly places. Uh, I want you to begin to pray, begin to bind that power, begin to bind and rebuke them because the Lord has given you as a child of God, uh, as, a, as a Christian, uh, you have received the power. The Lord has given you the authority, the power to bind anything and whatever you bind on it is bound in heaven. I want you to open your mouth anyway you are. Pray for yourself. Don't depend on people to pray for you. Don't say this person pray for you. Pastor or anyone pray for you. Pray for yourself. I love to teach people how to, to fish. To grab that fish themselves so that any time I'm not around, they want the fish. They can go to the stream and grab the fish. Know how to fish. Know how to pray for yourself. Because somebody, a man can tell you I'm praying for you. You don't even know if the person is praying for you. So open your mind 
mouth. Begin to pray for yourself. Father, in the name of Jesus, King of all kings and the Lord of hosts, we thank you. Ancient of days, we bind every principality, every power, sir. rulers of darkness, of this or spiritual wickedness in highly places. Father, we bind them in the name of Jesus. Father, we bind them by the authority in the mighty name of Jesus and we cast them into the abyss. That is where they will remain until the day of judgment. In the name of Jesus, Reka Pasuta, Lege Brozo Kete, Likata Talagada Bashakata Bragada, Rika Pasu Telegede. In the name of Jesus, it is written, Surely they will gather, but not by him that will serve that gathers against us for our sake. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I decree the fall of every gathering, everyone that have gathered in heaven or earth, in the land, see water beneath the earth, anywhere that have gathered, let them begin to fall right now for our sake, according to the word of God. In the name of of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, O oh Lord. We glorify your holy name. Thank you, ancient of days. Father, we declare open heaven right now. In the name of Jesus. Fill us with your presence, with your, fill us with your glory, with your power. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you to begin to pray. Cancel every negative dream you have you had this morning at times you cannot remember at times you can remember I want you to begin to pray cancel every negative dream every plan on purpose of the wicked every counsel of the wicked begin to cancel them by the precious blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus my father we declare and declare that their counsel shall not stand there it shall not come to pass by the authority in the name of Jesus recapo Sote, le kata la gada bashakata, ribro sokete, we nullify by the blood of Jesus. Every enchantment, every divination, every spell, rika pasuta, by the blood of Jesus. Every satanic pregnancy, oh God. Oh, masuta la gada bashakata, ribro sokete, they have conceived against your people by the authority in the name of Jesus. I abort it by the authority in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise. I glorify your holy name for you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. No one is like unto you. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba, Father. Brethren, I want you to look into, we want to look into a scripture right now and begin to pray. Let's look into Numbers 22. So, 4 says, Moab said to the elders, of median now this company will lick up every everything around us as an ox licks up the grass of the field and balak the son of zippo was king of moabites at that time then he sent mess messengers to balaam the son of boa at Bethel, which is near the river in the land of the sons of his people to call him saying look a people has come from egypt see they cover the face of the earth and are sitting next to me. Six. Therefore, please come at once. Cause these people for me, for they are too mighty for me. Perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them out of the land. For I know that he whom you bless is blessed, and he whom you cause is cursed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. So this is a story of when Israelite they were passing through the land, they were minding their business, they were going their own way. And this king, these people saw innocent people that were going on their own. And the kings and the king said, Come and cause this person. King called a prophet and said, Come and cause these people. And he even, you know, he sent messengers. It's a long place. You can, you can go and read it. Let's look at uh, 23. Numbers 23, verse 1, please. Okay, so Balak sent for Balaam to come and cause the Israelites. And then Balaam went. Praise the Lord. Then Balaam said to Balak, Build seven altars for me here and prepare for me here seven bulls and seven rams. Praise the Lord. 
an altar an altar remember we have been talking about this altar here we say go to your altar carry your bible start your school there we are looking at altar right now there are altars that are for good and altars that are for bad so look at this one somebody said come and cause a people for me and they built an altar you watching they built an altar verse 1 says build seven altars for me here and prepare for me here seven bulls and seven rams that sacrifice must be carried on in that altar the, the sacrifice blood if you look at seven bulls bulls when you kill it blood will come out praise the lord let's look at uh, numbers 23 verse 14 so he brought him to the field of, of Zip, Zip him to top of Pisgah and built seven altars and offered a bull and a ram on each altar. Another seven altars. Another offering, sacrifice, bull, a bull on each altar, a ram on each altar, seven altars. Praise the Lord. Let's look at the same chapter, but verse 29. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Then Balaam said to Balak, Build for me here seven altars and prepare for me here seven bulls and seven altars. Praise the Lord. So, Brethren, if you look at it, seven, seven altars into three, that's 21 altars against a people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. People that didn't do anything, they, they were going on their own. They didn't do anything to this man, to these people, but they want to, they want to cause them, they want to do evil to them. Praise the Lord. My brethren, you see, if you don't have your own altar that speaks for you, you'll be joking. Don't think that everybody likes you. Don't think that people like everybody like you. No, life is not like that. You don't need to do anybody anything for the person to hate you. But don't see that person. It's the Satan. It's the enemy that entered this ones to, to do what? To hate you for nothing's sake. So you see, 21 altars were built against one people. I don't know how many that has been built against you. You don't know how many that is speaking against you. A disciple told me that um, an enemy built uh, like about, I think she said about four altars against her family that this one if this one doesn't work the other one will work if this one doesn't work another one will work so praise the lord i want you to pray for yourself i want you to pray every altar exodus 34 13 exodus 34 13 the lord said we should destroy their altars but you shall destroy their altars break their sacred pillars and cut down their wooden images Praise the Lord. So I want you to pray. You know, when they build this altar, some they have people's name, their names, uh, pictures. You know, they have so many things. If you look at, uh, if you watch these uh, uh, Nigerian movies, they are not playing. Those altars exist. And nobody can do you any harm but it's really from any vacuum. No, they go to an altar. As we have the altar of God. You go to church, there is altar there. So there is altar. The enemy services where they do people evil. So I want to the, the Bible say you should destroy their altars. Begin to destroy every altar, every altar they have built. You know there is something they call effigy, something like they built it. Okay, let me let me just ex let me read it. I Google the um, definition. Effigy is a roughly made model of particular person. Effigy is a roughly made model of a particular person made in order to be damaged or destroyed 
as a protest or expression of anger. So this effigy, when they have it in their altars, they name that person. They want to hurt Mr. A. They will, they will call the name. They will name that thing, the name of the person they want to uh, hurt. If they want to cause you headache, they will just hit something on your head, anywhere you are. If you're not in the spirit, if you don't have the altar of God that speaks for you, the, your head, the, that thing will begin to work. Somebody will be, will be saying, my head, my head, my head. You see? So I want you to pray. I want you to They have so many things. They have things they used to have. That is what they used to afflict people from their altars. So I want you to pray for yourself. And if you don't have altar, go and build your own altar. Go and build your own altar. The, um, Elijah repaired an altar, a broken altar, and, and gave God offering. And God came down and ate it. So I want you to build an altar for yourself. Go to your altar. Nothing, just your Bible, your book. Go there and tell the Lord, please, begin to pray there. You do your, your school there, your Holy Ghost school there. Please, I want you to open your mouth and begin to destroy. Every altar, altar of sickness and diseases, any altar they build, they'll name it. If it is sickness they want to throw at you, they'll name it. They'll be, you begin to be sick. If it is accident, if, it's, if it is premature death, that is it. So I want you to begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, eternal rock of ages, O King of glory, ancient of days, O God, that you release, O God, your flame of devouring fire to consume and destroy every altar, known and unknown, the enemy has erected against your people. In the name of Jesus, every altar of accident, altar of shame and disgrace and nakedness, altar of failure, altar of rise and fall. Oh, altar of nearly, hey, masu katalabashakata, reprosokete, altar of almost there. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your fire begin to consume them. In the name of Jesus, altar of disfavor, your people, maka pakusu katalabashakata, bragada, reketelegede. I want you to begin to pray for yourself, pray for yourself in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, reketelegede, 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 so kete, destroy, destroy, destroy their altars. The Bible said destroy them. Anywhere they built it in, in help not earth in the land. See water beneath, earth, beneath the earth, eh? within and without. Anywhere, let that altar begin to consume them. In the name of Jesus, begin to release the blood of Jesus. Because uh, even though they sacrifice the bulls uh, and the rams there, the all uh, the blood of Jesus, the sacrifice eh, that is greater than every sacrifice is the blood of Jesus. The sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ, the blood. Let the blood of Jesus begin to neutralize. Let the blood of Jesus begin to destroy everything that is not of God concerning you. Those altars, whatever they have spoken against you and your family, whatever they have spoken against you and your job and your marriage, everything and anything, Rika Pasukata, that is not of God, that is now working against you in the name of Jesus, I revise it by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. If you, if you go to your workplace, raise an altar. Raise an altar. You people don't know these devilish people. They raise altars everywhere they go. And the thing is working for them. So anywhere you are, anywhere you find yourself, raise an altar for the Lord. In the name of Jesus, there is nothing. It's not a big deal to raise. Just tell the Lord any altar that is not of God in this place, dethrone that altar by the blood of Jesus. Tell the Lord I erate an altar. I build an altar for you. Come down with your holy angels. Come and rule and reign. Give him the place to reign. And everything and anything they do against you in that building, in that place, it is, it is not going to work because the altar of God is speaking for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Makutu Father, we thank you, Lord, ancient of days, O King of glory, Jehovah God Almighty, that we cancel by the blood of Jesus every spoken word, every enchantment in this altar, so Lord, everything, O King of glory, Jehovah, that has spoken against your people, by the blood of Jesus, we cancel them. It shall not stand, it shall not come to pass. In the name of Jesus, my Father, those evil ministers and their counsel 
jealous. Turn their castle into foolishness in the name of Jesus. Turn their castle into foolishness in the name of Jesus. My Father, the hour has come, O oh Lord, for you to execute judgment against this evil minister. So, God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord, until they repent and come back to you in the name of Jesus. Job 38 12. He said, Have you commanded the money? Command your money. Command the money to be for you. To to please you, you know, to to have you commanded the money since since your days began and caused it down to to know its place i want you to begin to command the money let the money favor you let the sun the moon stars the elements and fragments everything the lord has created favor you let me the favor of god locate you wherever you are in the name of jesus christ of nazareth may you be favored in your place of work may you be favored in your marriage may you be favored in that home everywhere you find yourself in your business area be favored by the presence of the lord god almighty be favored may you be highly favored in the name of jesus father i thank you i cover this day with the blood of jesus i cover you with the blood of jesus it is well with you in the name of jesus be thou exalted oh lord in jesus name